it has the perk a part of tracker where it hides like your enemy death skull or the death skull you would give after you kill an enemy so you can effectively just run around in their spawn and just take people out and it's pretty helpful especially if you guys are playing on maps where you know there's a lot of areas where you can get flanked there's a lot of nooks and crannies something that you guys should definitely be you know keeping an eye out and mind for when playing the game so if you guys have you know the m13 leveled up you're able to make a class setup with this gun i highly recommend you guys going ahead and trying it out as you just turn on that guy there you get out of here Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is your boy Ears. Hope you guys are having a great rest of your day, start to your day, whatever time it may be. And we're using a weapon conversion that I don't know why I haven't made a video on considering the fact it was one of my favorite weapons in Call of Duty Ghost, which is one of my all-time favorite Call of Duty games. Now, we're going to be looking at the Honey Badger, which is going to be a weapon conversion you guys can make out of the M13. Now, the Honey Badger is fantastic especially if you guys are looking for an assault rifle that works like an smg is very good when you guys are trying to flank build up a kill streak and potentially get your first tactical nuke and it also has a secret perk built into its class setup all this together makes this one of the best rifles to use in game and honestly it's slept on because I don't see anybody using this weapon class setup. Now, let me go ahead and explain what I'm running on my honey badge that gives it the secret perk. Now, you guys see here, I'm running the Tempest Cyclone Barrel. Kind of like how the Kilo 141 has its Whisperer Barrel. This barrel allows you to have increased sound suppression as well as increased bullet velocity. Very good. Helps out at ranges as well as in close range now i'm also running the merc foregrip now this is a fantastic attachment for this weapon because it increases the hip fire accuracy and also increases that recoil control so you can both tackle enemies at close range as well as long range a very good attachment for this weapon build now you guys look at this, the .300 blackout rounds. This is the attachment that makes this weapon so good. Not only does it increase the damage range, it also increases the, well, kind of increases your ability to flank. Now it allows you to have no visible tracers as well as no enemy skulls. Now what this is, is pretty much the tracker perk built in to your weapon class setup. So you guys do not have to use that perk on your setup and if you guys weren't running tracker already on your setup well you get a free perk very helpful and this is what allows you guys to flank and get behind the enemy spawn and actually just wreak havoc now finally i'm also running the full alert perk which allows you to have maximum starting ammunition because i want to use dead sounds but i want to use it so i can make plays when they need to be made and then you guys can go ahead and pretty much run whatever attachment you guys want I personally like to run an optic because I don't like the M13's iron sights. I'm running the Solo Zero Optics Mini Reflex, but you literally can run anything else. You can run the No Stock. You can run the M13 Skeleton Stock. You can run the Stippled Grip Tape if you guys like the iron sights. But since I don't like them, I'm going ahead and running the Solo Zero uh, Reflex Optic Sight because I want to have a clearer sight picture. This is my M13 class setup. I dropped a Tactical Nuke using this build so if you guys do enjoy the best class setups the best settings the tips and tricks or any of my gameplay walkthroughs and breakdowns and want to see more of this content on the channel make sure you guys absolutely smash like on the video subscribe to the channel and also turn on those post notifications with all being said i'm gonna catch you guys in the gameplay yo what's going on youtube it is your boy ears and we are gonna be using the honey badger here in modern warfare now i don't know why i haven't made a video on this weapon yet because this weapon was one of my favorite guns to use in call of duty ghost and it's absolutely amazing in this game because it actually has a perk built in now what i mean by having a perk built in is that the honey badger has the dead silence kind of I should say shielding effect where if you kill people their death skulls do not show up on the mini map now if you guys are unaware what that means so every time you guys get a kill here in modern warfare and they die near their teammates or maybe even not even near their teammates it's just you know in the general vicinity of where you know they're located at they're actually gonna be giving up a death skull now when you guys are running the 300 blackout rounds which is what you have to use to kind of make this the official honey badger kind of loadout it's actually going to remove that so you can actually properly flank around the map, making this a pretty solid class setup for those of you 
who are trying to increase your KDs or going for your first tactical nuke. So let's see what we can do here. We're going to be just running around the outskirts of the map, trying to just bust this headquarters out and, you know, just cause some damage. Come out there. Oh, I think there's a guy in that corner there I think I saw. Not sure it was. Now, what I think is going to happen is right after we capture this headquarters is that they're going to spawn directly behind us. So I'm going to put myself in a position to where I can properly kind of catch the off spawns if and when they do happen. So, okay, they didn't spawn behind us. Thank you. Okay, so at least, oh, we got a double kill. There we go. Nice. We're going to go ahead and throw down this VTOL jet there courtesy of my bouncing betty so let me know like what you guys think of the honey badger if you guys have ever used this and also what is your favorite weapon kind of conversion to use in this game because honestly i haven't really been messing around with too many weapon conversions and i don't know why I've usually been sticking to like the regular base weapons and honestly that, that's a mistake that i've been making because a lot of these weapon conversions are very very good i think i've been missing out a lot Try to kind of come up, trying to get behind these guys here. There's a lot of them already on the headquarters. Pick up that guy there. Alright, they captured the headquarters, which is kind of unfortunate. Take him out there. Now, the only kind of bad thing about this is that they have the hill, and obviously, since they have the hill, there's little to no reason for me to call in my advanced UAV, so we're just gonna have to just bust this hill. Kind of maneuver these spawns you know without the use of an advanced i'm gonna throw that down right there just in case there you go shot him through there go ahead and just throw up my support helo here take him out right there I kind of want to get kind of to a middle map position before I throw up my advanced UAV. We're going to cross through here. Check here. Pick up that guy there. I'm going to call up my advanced UAV now. It seems that they all spawn on the hill, which honestly kind of is very frustrating. I, I, I don't know why like this, this happens on this game where literally like you'll completely clear out a hill. And then their enemy team will literally all spawn on the new rotation. That happens a lot on maps like... What is that one terrible big map? Can't put my finger on the name right now, but it happens a lot. I'm going to just sit up here and just wait. Try to hit a flank over here real quick. Take him out there. HQ contested. There we go. Take him out there. There's a lot of guys around me right now. Take him out there. Throw that down there. Take him out here. This is when like having the M13 with like the the bullets that kind of shield you come in handy when you're in situations like this. Take him out there. Take him out there. Take him out there. Friendly UAV overhead. We're gonna go over here. There we go, take him out there. We got our nuke. Let's go. This is what happens when you guys run the M13 with the proper class setup. You could actually go ahead and get some nice flanks in. There's actually somebody that's sitting back here. I kind of want to take this guy out here because I have no idea what he's doing. Pick up his MP5 for some backup ammo. And we're just gonna try to go on a little bit of a gun streak here. Friendly 
location ID. You can see even at range, if you just pop fire, this gun is pretty solid. Since we have the nuke pretty much in the bag, what I'm just going to do is just try to build up a nice little gun streak here. We got a hit marker with the Betty. Must be one I placed across the map. Now, again, the only kind of shitty thing about this whole situation here is that a lot of them are now spawning directly on top of the hill, which can be, which is problematic because they're capturing the hill now. Take out that guy right there. Take him out there. I think I hear somebody in the back over here. And they got a tank? Hello? Reloaded. Take that guy out there. Now I'm gonna have to pay attention. This is the this is the kind of thing I'm talking about for headquarters on Arc Loft Peak, man. Like or headquarters in general. Aenea Palace, that's the map I was kind of referring to. Aenea Palace. Because what happens in headquarters is that usually, we go take them out there. Usually when you guys go ahead and bust them off of a hill, you're going to go half, you're going to. And there's a, a, a guy with a random guy in a random corner. Well, since this game is over, man, I think we just got to just chalk it, drop the nuke. I just love how like as soon as like you get a nuke in a game and like motherfuckers know you got the nuke Like it's just I, I just love how the entire pace of the game just instantly changes If people just know you have the nuke, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just drop this right now. Oh, there's a guy running on top of me And I am flashed Dude, of course, after, like, I call it in, I start getting kills. You gotta love to see it, man. But drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on those post notifications, and above all, everybody, I'm gonna catch you on the next video. Deuces. If you made it this far into the video, odds are you enjoy the content or you are a very loyal subscriber and I cannot thank you guys enough for your everlasting support. If you guys are unaware, every single night at 11.45 p.m. Central Time and also every single morning at 11.15 a.m. Central Time, I am live streaming over on Twitch. On Twitch, I'm playing Modern Warfare with viewers, subscribers, anybody who wants to go ahead, interact with me, or run a couple games of Modern Warfare. You can go ahead and find my Twitch channel by searching in twitch.tv slash earsxbl in the Google search bar, or going on Twitch and typing in earsxbl. My channel's gonna be the first thing that pops up. Make sure you guys go ahead and drop me a follow. We are on the road to 8,000 followers, as well as if you guys have Twitch Prime and wanna hook your boy up, that'd be greatly appreciated. And if you guys do actually subscribe to the channel with Twitch Prime, or actually use a tier one sub make sure you guys let me know over on twitter my link is gonna be down in the description below tweet me a picture and i'll make sure to follow you guys back and give you guys a personalized thank you appreciate all the support you guys have been showing on the videos you guys are absolutely amazing and i hope to see as many of you guys over on the twitch streams as possible with all being said i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video deuces